Thank you, Commissioner. Finally, I want you to hear from Dr. Mitch Katz, CEO of Health and Hospitals. I uh, want to say, by way of preface, uh, right now our team at all of our health and hospitals facilities are doing their job. They're not only dealing with this, they're dealing with all the other health care needs of the people of this city. But the important point to recognize is the capacity we have. We have the biggest public health system in America by far. Uh, Dr. Katz and his team are doing a great job preparing. We've already talked to you about how many beds we have available if we need them. But Dr. Katz is going to further explain, in addition to broad guidance he'll give, uh, he's going to explain the point of how we would respond as needs intensify around coronavirus, how we can uh, reduce some of the other work that's being done to free up staff, to free up capacity to address this crisis while, without compromising health care. And that is a pre-planned protocol uh, that Health and Hospitals has in place. We want you to understand it. Dr. Katz. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is a moment when New York City can be proud that it has always maintained a robust public hospital system. We have 11 acute care hospitals. We have 60 other outpatient sites where we're able to provide care. Today, we are seeing people who have symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, people who have cough and fever or shortness of breath or fever, and we are able to see them in our facilities. We are able, through our commercial lab, to test those people who turn out not to have influenza or another cause. Uh, as the mayor spoke, we've spent the last several weeks preparing all of our facilities so that if there is an influx of tens of patients, if there's an influx of hundreds of patients, we are prepared to do that. The way that you do it is by having protocols that first uh, look at who is in the hospital for some other reason, who can be cared for at home, and you rapidly discharge them. You cancel elective surgeries. This is not a moment where we will be doing elective gallbladder removals, doing hernia repairs, important surgeries, uh, surgeries that have major impacts to the quality of people's lives, but we can do them, we can reschedule them for after this outbreak. Uh, during the time of the outbreak, if we are having tens or hundreds of new patients, those patients will be rapidly discharged, outpatient services will be canceled, and we will pull all of our doctors and nurses into our inpatient areas so that we can provide adequate care to all those who need it. Every single hospital has a plan of where that care would be provided if there are hundreds of more patients. In some cases, it's a cafeteria. In some cases, it's an auditorium. In some cases, we have tents that are specially made for creating uh, clinical areas in parking lots. Each hospital knows exactly what it would do depending upon how many patients we have. We have enough supplies and we have access to those supplies. We watch them every day. I participate in a call about uh, face masks, about antibiotics, about fluids, and we are prepared uh, if this uh, pandemic gets much worse in New York City. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Katz. OK, 